What is going on my dudes? Tyster here back again with another Genshin Impact video. Today we are going to be talking about Tainari and Kale and how good they are. Now, the unfortunate thing for me is that I have not been able to finish their builds because I've been extremely unlucky when it comes to artifact sets and my timing for the update has just not been the best. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I'm building towards, kind of give you an idea of what we're working with here. And of course, you know, any tips and tricks. So let's go ahead and get into it. First things first, as you can see, we have Tainari right here on the screen. Ooh, look at that. But we're going to talk about Tainari first because I feel like that's the best. Obviously, we already know how to awaken him, but let's go ahead and talk about his abilities first because I think that's what's the most important. He does have a double charge attack and let's go ahead and go to his E. His E, Tainari throws a Vajnana. Uh, that's such a weird way to say it. Uh, Stormheart, a head that deals AoE dendro damage, creating a Vajnana Kanda field that creates mysterious illusions that taunt opponents and draw their fire. Additionally, Tainari gains the uh, Vajnana subfusion. It's so weird, Vajnana. Uh, subfusion, which will decrease the Wrath Arrow's charging time by 2.4 seconds, which you definitely want to use in tandem with this ability. So you'll cast your E and then hit three different charge shots. It's perfect and it works really, really well. I've seen some kooky damage on top of those. So, uh, but yeah. And then he has his burst, combines the power of all the seeds, fire six tangle vine shafts that could track opponents and deal dendro damage after they hit. The tangle vine shafts will create a secondary wave of tangle vine shafts that can also track opponents and deal dendro damage on hit. So this is gonna be like a zero constellation Tainari that I'm gonna be talking about. So I don't want people going you should go over constellations, but let's say you pull Tainari. What is the best set to build him around? So the set that I'm building him around right now is actually Wanderer's Trope. Now, as you can see, Wanderer's Trope is a fantastic set in my personal opinion. And the other character that really uses this well is Ganyu. And it helps because of the fact that Tainari's male Dendro Ganyu. Uh, Let's go ahead and talk about it. Increases elemental mastery by 80% or not 80%, 80 points on a two piece and the four piece increases charge attack damage by 35% if the character uses a catalyst or a bow. Now, this is fantastic, obviously, for bow users. We already know this and the elemental mastery is actually built into Tainari's kit a little bit. However, I would not solely focus on the fact that he has elemental mastery built into his kit. I would fully, fully advise you to focus more on crit rate and crit damage when it comes to artifact sets, when it, especially when it comes to Tainari, because you're gonna wanna bump up that damage. So honestly, for your flower and feather, we already know, but for your sands, I would focus attack percentage. If you do get an elemental mastery one, that could work too. For your goblet, you wanna go ahead and do dendro damage bonus. And for your uh, uh, circlet, you wanna do either crit rate or crit damage, depending on what you're actually uh, lacking. You definitely want to make sure that you at least have 50 points or 50% into crit rate. That's just my suggestion. I know people say 70, but 50 is usually a good spot to go for. Now, if Wanderer's Trope doesn't suit you and you do want to go more elemental, uh, elemental mastery, you could go with the new set called Gilded Dreams. Now, they have the same two piece effect with elemental mastery plus 80, but for the four piece within eight seconds of triggering an elemental reaction, the character equip equipping this will obtain buffs based on the elemental type of the other party members. Attack is increased by 14% for each party member whose elemental type is the same as the equipping character, with elemental mastery is increased by 50 points for every party member with a different elemental type. So, a lot of people think that, oh wow, if you're running him with all Dendro characters, then of course you're not going to get uh, the elemental mastery bonus. But, let me remind you that you could run him with other characters in general. Like he is best suited with characters of the pyro element, the electro element, and even the hydro element. So you could run Tainari with like, you know, just spitballing Zhangling. Um, uh, you get what I'm trying to say here. Zhangling, uh, let's go with a healer. Let's just put Kokomi or Barbara for hydro. And then you could do Yaimiko as another off field DPS. It's perfect. You could run those and be able to do massive amounts of DPS with this set. So it makes sense why this is one of the better sets for him. Uh, this effect can be triggered once every eight seconds. The character who equips this can still trigger its effects when not on the field. So that's good. But honestly, that's the one downside is that if you're building Tainari as your DPS, this is where it kind of 
you know, sucks because you want him on the field. But even still, if you don't have him on the field, it's still activated. The last set I kind of want to talk about for him is Deepwood Memories, because again, he's basically like a Dendro DPS. This makes sense. Two piece Dendro damage, a bonus 15%. Four piece after elemental skills are burst hit opponents, the target's Dendro resistance will be decreased by 30% for eight seconds. The effect can be triggered even if the equipping character is not on the field. This is actually going to go into my next character after we talk about some weapons, but this is why I wouldn't run this set on Tainari. But for weapons, obviously the Hunter's Path is his go-to weapon, we already know, but you could sub in probably Aqua Simulacra, you could do um, Polar Star, there's a lot of different 5 stars that you could really use here. And of course for his 4 star, I would highly recommend Prototype Crescent, because again, it just, it works so well, and uh, honestly I think that it's going to be a benefit to him. There are a lot of weapons that he could actually use to benefit him, so don't you worry guys, you don't have to use Hunter's Path, or Prototype Crescent, you could run a lot of different options. Now, of course, let's go ahead and talk about Kale. Now, we're going to go over Kale's uh, abilities really quick. She does not have a second charge, so I don't care about her charge attack. Uh, for her E, she throws out a floral ring that deals one instance of Dendro damage to target it to targets it comes in contact with, and the floral ring will return after a set of time, dealing Dendro damage once again. Uh, and then her burst... Uh, throws a doll named Colin Amber, Amber, um, causing an explosion that deals AOE dendro damage, creating a Colin Amber zone. Colin Amber will bounce around within the zone, dealing AOE dendro damage. So she's going to be kind of an off-field DPS in a sense, but she's not really that hard pressed to be a DPS character. It's very weird. She is built almost like exactly like Amber because Amber is a DPS character, but nobody really likes using her for DPS. But let's go ahead and talk about the artifact sets. This is why I wanted to talk about Kale is because this Deepwood Memories works perfect for her in conjunction with Tainari. Because let's say Tainari is using Wanderer's Trope, he gets the 50% extra attack off of Kale. Uh, wait, no, sorry. E even if he was using Gilded Dreams, my apologies. If he was using Gilded Dreams, like you could still run Kale with uh, Deepwood Memories and you get that 15% attack uh, when it comes to the ability of Gilded Dreams, plus you could run two other elements to get 100 points more of Elemental Mastery. So Gilded Memories could actually work, or Gilded Dreams could actually work really, really well for Tainari, but I still say Wanderer's Trope, and then you run the Deepwood Memories on Kale in conjunction with Tainari, because it's going to give him that boost that he truly needs, especially with the Dendro Resistance being decreased by 30% for 8 seconds. You activate anything with uh, Kale, boom, and then you switch to Tainari, boom, 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 you get that damage that you need. But another set that you could run her with, and I truly feel that this makes sense, is you could actually run her with Emblem of Severed Fate because she's gonna want the, uh, the energy recharge. It actually works really, really well for her. So I would say for her Sands, you could run Attack Percentage or Energy Recharge. I'd probably say Energy Recharge, to be honest. And then for the Goblet, you could run a Dendro Attack Bonus, you know, just to get that a little bit of extra. And then, of course, your, you know, circlet could be crit rate or crit damage, depending on what you're needing. But especially since she's an off-field DPS and would work really good with Tainari, I would say Deepwood Memories is the better bet. But still, get that energy recharge up because you're going to need it. Now, for bows, you could get the Elegy for the end. I think that that's the best bet when it comes to energy recharge. And it works really well for Kale. And then, of course, you could also run the Stringless. The Stringless is actually pretty good. Uh, it does use Elemental Mastery, so you could probably put that actually on Tainari. But you could still run this because it increases Elemental Skill and Elemental Burst damage by 24%, which is something that Kali is going to kind of need because she doesn't really do that much damage in the first place. Or you could run Prototype Crescent, which I think is still a very good option for Tainari as well. But if you already have something that works for Tainari, like Aqua Simulacra or Polar Star or other bows you could run prototype crescent instead but that's gonna be it for me today guys you have plenty of options when it comes to kale and when it comes to tainari i am very stoked about these two characters though kale is not very good with attack damage the fact that i could run her with tainari and give tainari an extra boost is gonna be great and of course he's gonna be coming to standard banner soon so everybody's gonna get a chance to have him but what do you guys think let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and of course we will see you guys in the next video take care and be safe y'all